Gentlemen, the next speaker I would like to introduce to you is uh, a gentleman that has a servant's heart. You ask him to do anything, and you guys, when you hear his name, many of you will shake your heads and you'll agree with me. This man has a servant's heart, and he will do anything that is positive and constructive for you. Um, he always has a smile on his face. But when I think of this man, I think of somebody sitting at the feet of Christ. And I've got a scripture verse that reminds me so much of this man. And it is 1 Chronicles 28, 20. Then David said to his son Solomon, be strong and steadfast. Go to work, do not be fear or dismayed. For the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you or abandon you before you have completed all the work for the service in honor of the Lord. Gentlemen, I'd like to introduce my friend, Joseph Alsam. Good morning, guys. Welcome again. Um, First thing I'd like you to do is reach into your packet and take out the little program document. While you're doing that, I want to tell you a little bit about how this thing got started. Um, there's a thing at St. Gabriel's Parish called the Mango Men. I know several of them are here. If you guys can just stand up for just one second. Mango Men, wherever you are. A couple of them up here at front, over here, Scott. This, guys, this is how this got started. These men right here took a challenge from Danny Abramovitz five years ago and said, Danny came to, to the Mango Men's uh, Speaker Series at St. Gabriel and says, how come Dallas does not have a men's conference, Dallas-Fort Worth? And we're all looking around. Tom's like, yeah, guys, we need to get something. So Tom got his team together. He uh, invited men come to several meetings to start planning this thing. And lo and behold, there's a little whiteboard with all these teams. I'm like, yep, I'll do the facilities. I can do that. I do that for the men's club all the time. IT, registration, sponsorship, marketing, all these teams that make all this stuff happen. You know, the spots all started getting filled out. And there's a, a blank spot at the top, the leadership spot. And I saw that. I'm like, I wonder who's going to do that. <laughs> About a week later, Tom called me. He goes, hey, Joey, he goes, you know that spot there at the top? He goes, we need a leader to, to take that spot. I said, I see that. I hope you get one. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, he goes, will you pray about it? I said, sure, I'll pray about it. I went home that week. I prayed about it. And, and God, he told me to take that spot. So I did that, and uh, we had led off the first conference. I was the president for the first year. Uh, second year, Kevin Christensen, if you can stand up. He was a president for the second year. <laughs> Paul Mahoney behind me, my, my friend, he, is, he was a president last year. And Paul's also the president of our nonprofit, the Catholic Brothers for Christ. We just stood the nonprofit up last summer and are able to make this happen. 